Hi everyone, I'm Steph from Shea Laugh and Creations. Um, I thought I'd do a little bit of a demo to show you how easy cooking can be during this plague lockdown. Um, I'm going to do a couple of chicken dishes and um, yeah, just show you how easy it can be. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is put my rice on. I've got a thermi, but um, do it however you like. I'm using white rice today because that's what Robert asked me for. Asked, insisted, what is? So, yeah. Um, that. Pop him on. I know not everyone has a family, but rice cookers and saucepans work just as well as do microwaves. So, hopefully, I'm going to be able to cook this uh, coconut chicken curry dish in the time that it takes the rice to cook. So we'll just we'll see how it happens. All right, so we'll go 15 minutes. Yeah, okay, so I hope that doesn't create too much noise. While I'm doing the uh, coconut curry, I've also got some chicken wings. Um, so I like to cut them into the pieces because they're just easier to eat and you don't end up with that little tip bit. So I put in a, a splash of olive oil and I'm going to go the chicken rub with this one. I do already have some in the oven and they are the Tex-Mex rub. So they're a bit spicier. I have one child that likes spice, one that doesn't. So, so that's the Shout Out for Creations chicken rub and the Tex-Mex rub. So this one's also great on jerky. Um, and I put it on my ribs when I smoke them. So highly technical, you need a lot of equipment for my sort of cooking. No, you don't. Alright, so what we're going to do is... Um, Alright, so smush it around. Again, another technical kitchen term. Pour it onto a tray with some baking paper. And get my OCD in line and make sure they all line up. And I have a hot spot in my oven, so I put the small ones on one side and the big ones on the other because I know which side cooks better. So it's that simple. Just pop it into the oven. While I'm here, like I said, I have a hot spot, so I'm just going to twist around the text next one. So, okay. And I'll just... Wash my hands because that's what we do. Especially when you touch chicken. Alright, paper towel, sorry. Alright. Now, the coconut curry is definitely a mild, not wild. There is absolutely no chilli in there whatsoever. As I marinated the other um, chicken pieces, you can do the same thing in your little plastic bag if you want to. A lot of my friends, they go, yeah, that's a great idea, Steph, and then they just don't do it. So it's all good. I just want to show you that it works either way. So first thing I do is I pop a tablespoon into my wok. And fry it off a little bit. I haven't used this um, uh, uh, cookie thing, <laughs> sorry, um, induction thing for a long time. So I'm. This is a test run. And I thought if I'm going to do some cooking videos, it might be better to use that rather than putting my back to you all the time. So you just cook off the spices a little bit. They get nice and aromatic. Sorry about the fog. And then we add the chicken. Nice sizzle there. I just cut them up into bite sized pieces. So, this is such an easy uh, wheat night meal. Another thing you can do with it is 
once you're finished, instead of serving it in bowls or plates or whatever, you can also hollow out a cob loaf, put a bit of rice in the bottom and add your chicken and serve it in the middle of the table as a share dish. Um, a little bit out of the box. So, yeah, just um, trying them off. <laughs> trying to think of stuff to say. So if you're wondering where to get these products, um, Shaylak and Creations, I have a Facebook page and I also have a website, shaylakandcreations.com.au and you can go online and order. I've actually decreased the price while this horrible COVID-19 um, situation's happening because, you know, everyone's stuck at home and I see all over Facebook, oh, I'm so sick of cooking this and cooking that. What can I make? What can I make? So, um, if I can help out, that'd be great. Um, yeah, so chicken's thrown off. I like a bit of lemon, so. I use breast meat today. I don't usually use breast meat for this dish because I think thigh meat's got lots more flavour, but you use what you've got. Now this coconut curry mix will also work with prawns, it works with um, seafood like fish or calamari. You can also use, um, did I say pork? I don't know. No, I didn't say pork, okay, okay thanks Robert. So as you can see, it's browning off nicely. I might have cut these pieces a bit big. I have a feeling <laughs> that I'm going to, this is going to be ready before the rice, but not sure. Alright, so what I am going to do is the Tex-Mex chicken wings that I talked about earlier. I'm going to grab those out of the oven so you can have a little look at these. So these are super juicy. These ones have a little bit of heat in them because of course Tex-Mex is what they do. Um, I guess it's that simple. So I'm just going to pop some alcohol over that so they stay warm while everything else is cooking. Hello. <laughs> So they took about 40 minutes in, in my oven, but mine is not a good oven. Pop those aside. Okay, give these ones a little stir. Seriously, I can't be bothered waiting for that to come up to tell me if I'm just going to cut one open. What would you think? Like I said, I cut them a bit bigger than I normally would. Okay, so we're nine minutes in. Not doing too bad. You've got plenty of time to pour yourself a glass of wine if you want while this is cooking. By now the family is going nuts because it smells so good. This is 
really nerve-wracking doing this. I haven't, haven't done it for ages, so bear with me, folks. All right, another highly technical ingredient, coconut cream. I like to use the cream, but you can use milk. So normally that would be 500 grams of meat. I've put a little bit less in there. So yeah, I only use one tablespoon out of the packet. There are, in the 50 gram packets, there's about three tablespoons. So each one of these, you can see, is um, a decent family meal. You can get two or three family size meals out of one packet for $4.95, I think they are at the moment. Well, a little bit, five minutes to go on the rice. This is working out pretty well. So, yeah, what else can you do with them? Um, this is also great sprinkled on chicken wings or uh, drumsticks and baked in the oven. Uh, actually, my daughter reminded me of that when it was her turn to cook. <laughs> And it came out so well, I thought, oh my god, this tastes so good, what did you do? And she went, no, it's your spice. I went, oh, okay. Right. So, um, yeah. You could also sprinkle it on your roast chook if you want. Um, <laughs> sorry, this is really good working. nearly there. So at this stage, you don't have to do this, but I can't help myself. I throw in some greens. And a little more lemon juice. You don't actually have to add any garlic or ginger or anything, because it's all in the spices. Um, and one rule that I have, if it's not on the back of the packet, you won't find it in the packet. So this one's got coconut, turmeric, cumin, paprika, onion, garlic, ginger, fenugreek, salt, cinnamon, coriander. So, as you can see, it's looking very professional. You too can do this at home in 15 minutes. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. That's how guinea pigs go and click, 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 drinking out of their uh, water container. I hear that all day. All right, so two minutes. I'll just move that out of the way. I don't have any fresh coriander today because of well, the plague and everyone else buys it before I can get to it. I'm going to grab a couple of bowls. So, this is the stage I like to add some coriander. Um, I know that not everyone likes it and they, of course, are wrong. But I did find out recently that the reason people don't like coriander is it's actually a chemical um, thing in their body and it makes it taste like soap. So um, luckily I don't suffer from that. Excuse me, I swear. Oh, it's hot in here. <laughs> Even with the air on. So about a minute 40 away. This would have been so much more fun if I'd been drinking wine, but I'm not drinking wine at the moment, so. Could always whip up a glass of soda water to keep me company. Which I probably 
probably should have done this first time. So, of course, you don't have to stand here and watch over it. It's one of those recipes that you can even put in the slow cooker if you like. Um, I have a giant slow cooker over here that sometimes I do it in. Um, it's plenty <laughs> for the family. And I know I only added greens, but you can add carrot or zucchini or any other veg. Add veg, don't add veg, it's up to you. Okay, so now I'm going to need a spoon. Maybe sneak back over the bowl. <laughs> that was the pot. A little hot cauldron. Alright. So obviously those other chicken wings aren't going to be ready to um, to pull out of the oven, so that's why I did that. Here's some I prepared earlier, but you get the general idea. Two seconds, and she's going to sing to me. So it's just super simple. When I'm doing a dish like this, I don't worry about rinsing the rice because I just don't. <laughs> Kitchen's not supposed to be hard. chicken, some of those beautiful green veg. I think they're choice some um, today. I just get what's ever is available. So this was actually only one chicken breast that I cut up. Normally I have two in this size meal. The dog wants to be in the kitchen as usual. She's not the tidiest dish. Fifteen minutes, and I have a delicious. Coconut chicken curry with choy sum. No heat, all meat. All right, so thanks for tuning in. I'd love your feedback. And um, if you want to give this a taste test, um, jump on the website. If you don't want to do that, then feel free to come over and have dinner one night once this is all over. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.